Howdy, 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 my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, Taurus, we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, darling, for August, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out, Taurus. That's how I'll keep up with y'all. And as well, give this video a like and subscribe, Taurus, if you do enjoy this reading, because it actually helps me out a lot, and I always appreciate those who take the extra step to do that, because I know you don't have to, Taurus. All right, so today, darling Taurus, we're going to be getting into three rows for you. Your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind today. All right, could be romantic or platonic. Your second row, Taurus, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear right now on your path. Could be a spiritual message or just giving you some general guidance. All right, and then in your third row today, Taurus, we're going to be getting into some predictions. If you continue on in the path that you are on right now, because the future is never solid, I can make some pretty solid uh, predictions for you. All right, Taurus. So so be sure to check out more than just your one zodiac sign. Uh, check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus, Taurus. And let's get right into your tarot reading here uh, today. All right. With this Hierophant energy being the main uh, energy for you this week here, Taurus. All right. I feel like for you, Taurus, you're going to be gaining a lot. I feel like there's a lot to be gaining in whatever comes to your life this week or makes itself present. For some of you Tauruses, I see some progression when it comes to certain relationships in your life here. All right. And with this Hierophant energy, this lets you know the action that's happening is setting you up for the future. So this isn't like even if it initially comes in Taurus as like complications or just like stress or arguments here, because I'm not going to sh sugarcoat it, Taurus. I do see like this energy of some obstacles that y'all are going to have to overcome, which of course you will, Taurus, darling. Right. That's not even uh, in question there. But just understand that there's a purpose to it. All right. It's a purposeful pain, I always like to say. When you understand that there's a reasoning behind whatever is happening uh, this week for you, Taurus, it makes it so much easier uh, to uh, continue on with the plan, right? Because then you're just like, all right, I know this is going to benefit me at some point right uh, down the road. It may not initially feel that way, but you trust the process. And that's what I really want you to be taking this week uh, as Taurus is just trusting the process and what's happening for you. All right. There's so much that you're going to be gaining, but I do get the sense of like an initial investment getting your uh getting some skin in the game all right Taurus so we're gonna put that Hierophant energy up there because that's gonna be influencing all three rows Taurus all right and so now let's get into the person is on your mind right now Taurus all right which is four of wands with that king of wands here and page of pentacles all right so this is going to be for a certain type of person that y'all have not communicated in a little bit here all right i feel like uh for you taurus you're you're having you might be noticing just certain relationships in general in your life where it's just like a lot's being unsaid all right you can tell with like the body language with the text messages like you're able to tell like something is up uh taurus all right even that i want to talk about as well with this hierophant energy taurus the hierophant is kind of like the more masculine version of the high priestess all right so you still have that intuition that i want to uh have you take note of taurus all right and so i the first thing that i want to be saying here taurus is that i want to say is like be expecting some type of action from somebody here i don't feel like this is someone that you're in immediate contact with here i feel like this is someone that um hasn't really said much but they've been observing you a lot so this is someone that you can tell that there's something on their mind here and that they are wanting to express it here i do see action happening with that with that page of pentacles all right um four of wands coming in here as well i like this energy all right i like this energy a lot this comes in initially uh taurus as this sense of admiration or just wanting to um be part of your journey all right. Um, but I feel like there's so like there's something this person wants to say is something that I keep on uh, getting this impression of. Like this person wants something to say to you. And I feel like you even feel it as well. All right. Four of discs, four of pentacles. All right. This is definitely a situation towards the where it's like you you don't I feel like you don't get communication from them. I feel like it's even like a frustration port part for you where it's like you'll ask a question or like you'll do something expecting an, a reaction or just something towards and it's it's like you get like radio silence right and that's what i feel like for you Taurus. it's just like just give me something to work with darling right give me something to work with if you want this to work out all right eight of swords this person's really insecure though i feel like this is person's really thoughtful uh <laughs> 
thoughtful or at the very least let's say either thoughtful or overthinking i guess it depends on the uh the narrative of what it is that they're thinking about taurus but this is someone that's really in their thoughts here ten of swords as well it's almost as if uh taurus right I even want you to acknowledge with this king of wands here it's like that sense taurus where <sighs> they want it's interesting because it's like with that king of wands it's like a lion watching the king there all right and you think about the lion right what is that one quote where it's just like lions are like the king kings or whatever of the whatever whatever y'all know what i'm talking about when it comes to lions they're just like the apex predator or whatever right and but this lion is giving respect to this man here all right now obviously genders don't matter darling all right so don't take it personal by me saying this man here because it is a literal man all right and so for this line to have respect for that individual, all right, there's some type of intimidation here. And what I feel like, Taurus, is like this person's afraid of speaking their truth, or you might be feeling like, because this could be reversed, like you might be afraid of speaking your truth about a situation because you're afraid of like what would happen afterwards. You're afraid of like things coming to an end here when in reality that you just want this relationship to work out. You want this connection to work out and continue developing here. All right, but this kind of reminds me, I'm going to be honest here, Taurus, of your last week's reading here. All right, if you don't know last week's reading, I would suggest you to check that out here. But I feel like there's like some truth that needs to happen here. It's like this initial discomfort that you have, Taurus, when it comes to this situation here, I want to remind you that it's like, I don't feel like it's going to end with this connection here, but it, it is requiring both parties to actually take action here. Four of Pentacles, it's like this place of where it's just like, y'all go to your separate rooms and then you start venting to your friends friends or your family about the other person but you never actually just vent to each other all right i feel like the conversation is just so necessary here for you taurus all right and i see but yeah we'll just move on here taurus i get so frustrated even tapping into this energy so i can even imagine what it is that you're personally going through with this uh connection here taurus so uh yeah let's continue on here for what you need to hear today all right taurus so funnily enough darling right i don't even look at these rows until we're actually going into it you have the nine and four swords with the strength energy strength energy is still following through with that strong leo energy darling all right so it's kind of interesting how this line keeps on following you here if you have leo in your chart um i would suggest for you to check it out to my channel on uh tuesdays darling tuesday um that's when i upload the fire sign so you can check out last week's leo reading or maybe you're dealing with a leo all right um what you need to hear right now taurus is like i feel like you're going through a lot of like internal battles here all right i hear like the sense of that you're exhausted and what i want to be telling you right now taurus is that i feel like if you were to just take a risk get out of your head about a situation and stop um it's like you have this self-fulfilling prophecy uh taurus for thinking that everything's gonna go wrong everyone's gonna turn against you and you're just gonna be left alone high and dry all right i don't see that reality happening here all right i really don't see that happening when you think about the nine of swords this is someone that is having those sleepless nights it's really that card of anxiety taurus right and it's just been sitting in your on your brain here and the reason why you like the reason why certain things haven't escaped you and you can't move on from certain things maybe you're even noticing taurus where you're just like man why is it so hard for me to heal from this why can't i just break make this breakthrough all right some of you guys taurus you're just feeling like a blockage but you don't even know where the blockage is but you're just feeling like this general pressure and you're getting like that frustration the reason why uh taurus is that i feel like it's important for you to be um vulnerable all right i feel like it's important for you to be vulnerable speaking your truth about things here all right speaking about what's been sitting on your mind weighing heavy on your heart with your relationships all right for some of you tauruses maybe you need to just have a conversation with yourself about something that you've been working really hard on and you maybe perhaps thought that you would be a lot further down your path with certain projects than where you're currently at perhaps did i hit a nerve for some of you tauruses here that might even be why like i see all this leo energy all right you might be just exuding that leo energy of like pride which is not a bad thing taurus all right um i feel like taurus is if anything would exude like a silent leo energy where it's just like they're not going to be as flamboyant um 
as a Leo when it comes to commanding attention from a room, but they're going to be very, they're going to be silent about it. All right. Um, let's clarify this here. <clears throat> the lover's energy coming in here, uh, Taurus, I really feel like for many of you Tauruses, you need to just speak your truth about some person here, all right? You need to be speaking your truth towards some person here. I feel like you're overthinking things on some level, and I feel like you're, it's like you're doubting yourself that you are that you are ready, that you are fully healed, or some other situation isn't ready or fully healed from it, all right? But if you have been like debating on hitting like the sun button, I would say hit that sun button. All right. You have the king of cups here, really focusing in on emotional maturity coming in here for you, Taurus. What you need to know right now is that by you investing in your healing process, that's how you break that blockage. That's how you make that breakthrough, Taurus. All right. It's really necessary for you guys to um, put the time in for the healing, put the time in as well to give yourself that closure uh, for certain situations, Taurus. All right. And that closure will happen through you speaking your truth. That closure will happen through leaning more into these emotions instead of, you know, having the sense of pride and just like overthinking a situation Taurus never actually like seeing how things plan out it's like you go through a whole storyline in your head before you do make a decision on something you imagine every single possibility and what happens after the fact really intelligent Taurus anyways uh three of wands here all right you are going to be seeing signs five of swords energy as well I feel like you're going to be seeing signs Taurus all right you're being guided at this time of like where you need to put more energy into all right if you're seeing signs that it's just like you're seeing the red flags darling move on all right but be sure that you're not creating those red flags in your head just so you don't have to be uncomfortable with the situation and avoiding to communicate on things and speaking your truth about situations just because again that nine of swords energy you're creating those like anxieties there all right but you're going like for some of you guys uh Taurus you might be seeing receiving messages and you're just like all right I don't know if I'm just over reading this or if this is meant for me all right or you know all of that there and this is truly meant for you here Taurus right you're being guided all right even with the three of wands this is like a standoff right someone needs to pull the first card both of them are mirroring each other waiting for the other person to show their hand waiting for the other person to showcase the emotions but both sides are playing like the tough guy or the tough girl or the tough they darling all right whatever the case is so take that as you will taurus all right darling we're going to be getting into now your predictions here all right two of cups queen of cups here as well as five of wands right off the bat here taurus i see some of you guys coming into reconciliation with certain connections in your life certain partnerships all right that you um held closely at one point as that queen of cups all right this could also be towards people that you also that could help you accomplish your vision is something that i'm hearing but definitely like this sense here taurus of where rectifying things with that five of wands energy all right you could be as well uh taurus i see you might be getting into a connection it's like instead of making someone like a an enemy you make them an, al an ally instead of making them a foe you make them an ally uh taurus for some of you i get that or just like in, maybe for some of you guys it's just like you're working in the same field as somebody and that's where that competition is i don't know i see the sense of like the i <laughs> I see like the what would be potentially seen as like a negative energy or association. So like jealousy or resentment or what have you being transmuted in your life, Taurus, to bring you closer together with certain things and projects as well for you. Right. It's that uh, situation, Taurus, where it's just like y'all fight hard, but it's through that fighting that y'all will love each other even harder. Right. It's through those. It's through that conflict that brings you closer together with whoever this is. Right. Again, it's not just about romance <clears throat> your oracle cards all right uh right use of power crown games here all right some other zodiac sign got this re uh, card last week i don't remember who but right use of power for you taurus all right i don't want to use like puppet master came to is the word that came to mind but i want to water it down a little bit more here taurus i feel like it's not necessarily like puppet master but it's like you're taking control of a situation where other people would be really stressed out so for example taurus i feel like for you you're the one that's gonna like step up on to the plate when like a zombie 
zombie apocalypse happens, for example, and you're just like calling the shots and be like, all right, boom, 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 we need to do this, come together so we can work on this ultimate goal here. All right. I feel like it's really important for you, Taurus, to acknowledge that you are, again, puppet master as like this weird kind of, or maybe I guess I'm projecting onto that, but it's like, you are the one that can call the shots here, all right? You are a lot more in control of your situation, of relationships and what have you in your life than what you are giving yourself enough credit for. All right, Taurus? Your animal oracle card, humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing, darling, Be and well-being, whether simply playing an instrument or just listening. Spirits might be sending you signs through music this week. Some of you guys might be, I get like a very specific message as well. You might be bonding with somebody over some music as well. All right. And what I want to be pointing out to you as well, uh, Taurus, is I always take that humpback card and associate this with like replacing music with just creative pursuits. All right. Some of you Tauruses need to be more creatively inspired. Make time for some side projects. You know, people are so stuck onto this hustle culture that if it doesn't give you money immediately, then it's not worth your time. I feel like you need to build something up, uh, Taurus. All right. I feel like you need to lean into more creative projects and that will give you not only inspiration, but I feel like it would pay off. Right. To remember what I said at the very beginning. Right. It's something's going to pay off long term. All right. Set the bigger picture. All right. Full moon and Sagittarius coming in here for you. See the or not the see the bigger picture here. Seeing the bigger picture. That's kind of what I've been saying this entire time here uh, for you, Taurus. All right. Is this pride that you have going on right now with a certain situation? Why that Leo energy keeps popping up? Is it really worth it? All right. When it, when when are you going to make the decision, Taurus, on just taking a chance or something, even if it ends up going sour, uh, Taurus? At least you took that chance for your dreams. All right. So I love you so much, darling, Taurus. Hopefully this tarot reading gave you some resonance. If it did, give this video a like and subscribe. Comment down below. Remember, if you want to book a reading with me, Taurus, simply welcome. Dot com. Next to my social media is TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. All just being simply Velka. I love you so much, Taurus. Bye, darling. <laughs>